Hey everyone, Laura Joseph here, um, owner of the Animal Behavior Center. Um, we are an international educational center and we teach people around the world um, about increasing their relationships with their animals through using positive reinforcement training and applied behavior analysis. So I'm sitting here out back of the center um, with staring at a turkey vulture here for training from Nature's Nursery and hanging out next to Milo the mini pig. Yes. So anyways, I just wanted to come on here real quick and um, give a mention in a little more detail, hey Michelle, about our annual event. This is the third annual animal behavior training and health seminar. Um, the Animal Behavior Center is three and a half years old and we are very proud to say that uh, we will be having our third annual seminar and it is already well known nationally. So, hey Laura, um, let me tell you a little bit about why or what I look for when I attend a seminar and this is why I designed the seminar this seminar the way I did when I look for a seminar I want something very unique something unlike anything I've attended before um, I want to hear unique speakers um, a lot of times I go and hear the same speakers a lot of different places so throughout the year I search and like we've already got some of our speakers planned out for 2017 um, I search for information I want to know more about that I am not seeing addressed and that is why I've picked the speakers that I have. Um, I also look for, when I go to attend a seminar, I also look for a place that has a really good quality education and reputation and hopefully we have proven ourselves through our live streams and our continual content um, majority I would say 90% of our customers um, are repeat they keep coming back whether that's for our classes uh, or whether that's through um, our workshops um, our online classes and um, we do have a lot of repeat people coming back this year and people that have been here for the past two years so this year we are also <laughs> I guess the cockatoos aren't used to seeing me sit on out back of the center um, this year we also will be offering CEUs and you can check out um, that on our website through uh, the animal behavior um, we have CEUs being offered through a couple of different organizations and we're national organizations known for education and animal training and behavior and also um, we are in the process of applying for CEUs for vets and vet techs so let me turn this around real quick and show you so here's our website and here is the page on the website. Um, this year, it will be the first year. It is a four-day event. Uh, the past two years, it's been two-day events. Um, we've increased it to a four-day because we really want this to be an experience. So the first day, which is Friday, October 7th, it begins with a five-hour interactive behavior, animal behavior and training workshop, and that will be given by me, myself, Laura Joseph, and that is from 10 until at least 3.30. And then at 4 o'clock, we have something we're doing fairly, well, is definitely new, Cocktails and Canvas. So we're having a fundraiser for DeafDogsRocks.com. And everybody will be painting a picture, that picture, of Milo, our mini pig. And in attendance will be Milo, our mini pig, and Levi, our deaf dog and cello or roller pigeon at least and then after that saturday and sunday is two full days of speakers i need to change this because we have so much information it is now from 8 30 a.m until 5 30 p.m both saturday and sunday and then following that um the speakers we have i've arranged this and I've designed this seminar 
to be a process that people go through. And I want them to understand, that's why I start with the behavior workshop. It's very interactive. To ask, tell me what your questions are, and I am gonna start talking about um, the science of behavior using applied behavior analysis. Um, and I will start, as this goes along, to give demonstrations, I will bring in certain animals and show, because I know that makes more impact with people. So then Saturday and Sunday, two full days of speakers, and these speakers are picked out in their content deliberately because by the time we get to the fourth day, um, I want you to see how it's all put to work with different types of animals. So throughout the weekend, I will be speaking on contra freeloading um, and the research done behind why animals choose to work for food versus taking identical free food. Thanks, Laura. And then um, on Sunday, I will be talking about building relationships through the cage bars because I train a lot of different types of animals and some I cannot touch, some do not want to be touched. But my point in, in, in this topic is to show how I can still build relationships and train without ever having to touch the animal. Um, sometimes touching certain animals will cause a lot of induced stress. Diana Nichols, I found her through um, a podcast. And if you go on here, you can read her biography. It is amazing. So on Saturday, she's going to be talking about animal cognition, learning, and memory. And um, how the brain processes information and have us take a second look at our approach. Sunday, she's going to be talking about understanding stress a neuro, from a neuro, neurobiological approach, which I thought was very appropriate. Um, sometimes, do we even know what stress looks like? Uh, we're also bringing in a um, board certified behavior analyst, Joel Vitovic, and Saturday he's going to be talking about WTF, what's the function, functional analysis methodology. Um, and how this assessment is used to um, identify different variables and modify behavior. Sunday, he's gonna be talking about developing a positive history of reinforcement with caretakers in a caretaker setting. Um, he'll also be talking about history of reinforcement, history of punishment, and how it is very important to identify, work with, and um, use in a behavior modification plan. Um, we will also be bringing in the awesome Bonnie Zimmerman for those of you that have um, she's gonna be talking about a couple of different things she is I believe if she's not in Indonesia right now she is on her way Katie yay there's somebody from the first event um, Bonnie Zimmerman is on her way to Indonesia here shortly and when she returns she will be coming fresh from overseas to here to the Animal Behavior Center giving presentation on um, one's going to be on deforestation um, and the statistics and not a problem Katie not a problem and the other one is going to be on the Abadi cockatoo um, I believe there's only 20 21 left in the wild and let me turn this back around Jason Crean back by this is he's back by demand and when I say demand, I mean demand. <laughs> People last year and that have been here the past two years say, if you do not bring him back, you're crazy. So we have brought him back in for zootrition, um, updates and raw whole feeding of all animals, not necessarily zoo animals, but um, all animals and how it applies to all animals. Um, Sunday, he's gonna be talking about anim animal communication, senses and perception. This is so important. Um, and will fall directly in line with all of you love you some Jason heck yes yes everybody loves Jason everybody loves Jason and then um, Monday the fourth day we are starting at the Indian Creek Zoo and he's gonna be talking about zoo ethics the truth about zoos and that's only gonna be a fraction of what we're gonna do on Monday but uh, let me get to uh, Dr. Todd Driggers I met I met Dr. Todd Driggers when I was in um, 
Benson, Arizona, I believe it was in May, to give a presentation. And uh, he was primarily my host for the weekend. And what an amazing man. I had plenty of opportunity. I wasn't, he, I wasn't even thinking about having him for a speaker. And um, him and I talked so in detail about so many different things. He has a history of applied behavior analysis and he has a history in um, um, animal medicine and exotic medicine. So the two of us had a lot of conversations and by the end of the weekend I just said, would you be interested in coming speaking at my October event? Um, I have a little, I think people are going to get a lot of information um, from you. Um, he's done some work overseas. He's done a lot of work overseas. Anyways, his topics are, and I wanted this specifically, and I was searching for somebody who has a history in applied behavior analysis that can talk to us in a history in medicine that can talk to us about medicine, medicating and behavior. When is it time to medicate for a behavior issue? Um, because a lot of us know if there's a behavior issue, you don't just want to treat it with medicine, you can make it worse. But anyways, that is his area of specialty and that is what he's going to be discussing. Um, and he'll also be t discussing uh, medical and behavior aspects of nutrition for the avian steward. I heard some of his talk about um, overfeeding, how we overfeed um, our animals and the health problems it causes. So many times people find comfort in food and we think our animals should find comfort in food. He is going to be here to talk about the problems in the body as it ages for our animals and what problems, um, health issues it can bring. So, and then on Monday, this is on purpose. Hey Liz, um, on Monday I have intentionally done this. So after an animal interactive animal behavior workshop, two days of speakers, and then Monday we're going to start at Indian Creek Zoo with a talk from Jason Crean and he's going to be talking about zoos and then after that we're headed out on a four hour tour, a uh, behind the scenes tour of Indian Creek Zoo. And that is where you will see how all the information and you're going to see firsthand because I'm going to be training some of these animals for the people at the zoo tour. You are going to see firsthand all of the information from the workshop and from the two days of speakers. This is why. This is how. Let me show you. We're going to show you here with some of the animals how this works. Now let's take you to Indian Creek Zoo and show you, yeah, um, some methods you may not want to use with a giraffe or a macaque that um, will pull you through the cage bars. So, um, and we're gonna be talking behind the scenes and I'm gonna show approaches and show the training of how I do everything that I do. And two days, we'll be also um, raising money for DeafDogsRocks.com and the Indonesian Parrot Project. We have several things. Um, we're going to be, I'll probably live stream some of the talk from the Indonesian Parrot Project to bring more awareness to the smuggling and deforestation happening. Um, and I'm not talking about smuggling of animals into the United States, I'm talking about smuggling of animals among different countries. And Bonnie is over there gathering information to bring back. Um, it is a great networking opportunity here, uh, besides the point to earn CEUs. Anyways, with that, I think I've pretty much covered everything. I'm super excited. I've been up since 4.15 this morning, <laughs> working on this um, a lot throughout the day. And um, tomorrow I will be out working on this all day again tomorrow. If you have any questions, you can find out more about the event at theanimalbehaviorcenter.com and then just click on click on here, schedule events, and the drop down menu will show up and right there is our October event and it'll bring you to this date. Yes. You squee, squee meter. <laughs> Thanks, Katie. 
Katie has been to one of these, Laura has been to one, and Michelle was here last year as well. So anyways, if you guys have any questions, you can email me. Um, I have a contact list there, or you can email me at Laura, L-A-R-A, at theanimalbehaviorcenter.com. So I think that's it. The sun is going down here in lovely Northwest Ohio. The cockatoos have um, quieted down. The pig has given up on me, and the vulture is staring at me. There's the vulture. I don't know if you can see her up in her window. Touch, good girl. There's the pig, patiently waiting to go in. I would show you the cockatoos, but they are in bed. And some people wonder why I love winter. Hmm, sun goes down at five. It gets nice and quiet and dark here at five o'clock. Peace out, guys. Um, anyways, go to theanimalbehaviorcenter.com for more information. Thanks, see ya. Hope to see you in October. Thanks, Katie. Thanks for posting my email address. Wish you could make it.